Hey everyone, it's Miss Finan here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a very simple paper weaving. All you need are two pieces of paper, and I've picked some dark and light construction paper, but you can really use anything as long as they're close to the same size. You need some scissors, something to make your lines with, and ideally you need a ruler, but if you just have a piece of paper that you can use to measure like a ruler or to make a straight line, that'll work too. Now to create our weaving, we're going to need to choose one piece of paper to be our loom. That's what we're going to weave on. And to create our loom, we're going to take the corners of this bottom piece of the paper. And I want you to do your best when you fold it over to the top, but it doesn't have to be perfect. I just hold it and then fold it with my thumbs. Now I have the opening up here at the tippy top. And since I'm left-handed, I'm gonna put my ruler right over here and line it up to the edge. Now you can make your lines with a pencil, but I'm using a Sharpie so that it's easier for you to see. And just do the best that you can to make a line across the top, just like that. And now we're gonna line it up against this edge and starting from our first line, we're going to make stripes that go all the way down. And when you make your next line, just match up your ruler or whatever you're using to measure. And fill in as many as you can. I suggest tracing a little bit more slowly than you're used to because you want it to be your absolute best and it will really help when we are weaving. Now, because of the size of my paper, I'm not gonna be able to fit the ruler in perfectly for my last one, so it's up to you. If you end up with enough room for a small line, go for it, but I'm gonna leave it just the way it is. And now, I'm going to keep it closed, but I'm gonna grab my scissors, and I'm gonna cut up these lines and stop at the top. You're gonna wanna hold your paper so that it doesn't shift. Do the best you can. And now my loom is finished. When I open it up, I have all of these different pieces that I can pull apart, but they're still attached on the ends. Now I need something to weave with, and that's where I'm gonna need my second piece of paper. And again, you can use any piece of paper that you want, but just do the best that you can. And to make these into even strips, I'm gonna use my ruler trick again, where I line it up to the edge. Now weaving reminds me an awful lot of science because you can change the paper, you can change the size, you can really experiment and see how yours turns out differently and every time you make it different, you learn something new. Can you guess what I'm going to do next? I'm going to cut these out. Do the best that you can because you don't want jagged edges. All right, it's time to weave. The basic pattern goes like this. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Then slide it to the edge. And you might want to get a little dot of glue if you have it and glue down on the sides. But I'm always going to do the opposite. I don't want to do the same thing that I did or my strips will be next to each other. I want that awesome checkerboard pattern. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go under this time, then over, and under, and over, under, and over, and over. Ha, gotcha, just kidding, under, and over, and then slide it down to the next one, 
and I've got that awesome checkerboard pattern starting. Doing the opposite again, starting over. And again, you'll see me start a little bit towards the middle and then slide over because it's easier to manipulate. It gets a little tricky towards the end. Just be gentle. You don't want to rip your paper. But if you do, I guess you could tape it back up. And there you have it. There's your basic paper weaving. And after you've made one and you glue down the edges, you can decorate it with stamps or you can find other paper, cut out circles and add decorations. So I hope that you share what you've made with me. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.